So let's look at this for a minute. Like, wow. I, the, that to me reminds me of a cell tower. It reminds me of a communications tower. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it, it looks like it has coils. Those look like coils. They, they are. They are. Like, that's why uh, it's called Antiquitech. Like, this is like, a, that is like a well-designed piece of ancient technology that we have just been lied to about its purpose. And we're just coming up to the same understanding of science to figure out that there's functionality to all of this. Hey, man. Um, apologies for not letting you talk much in the last podcast. Oh, no, no, no worries. No, that was cool. I was a little heated. So, <laughs> I've, got, right. I've got the mute button like next myself. to me. Yeah, I've got the mute button next to me. So if I talk too much, I'm just, I'm going to hit mute on myself. <laughs> just talking about the Far M Foundation. And we we're looking at some of the, uh, the megaliths and such. But I'm super excited with what you're about to share with us. You're one of the, the leading researchers in the Tartarian Empire. And uh, thank you. Yeah. So let me give you um, permission to share a screen here. So you should, so if you want to share something, you can do so. And looking, looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Cool. All right. Let's jump into it. So uh, there's my pick there. So can you see that? Star Fort? Yes, sir. So um, yeah, we'll start with Starfort. So uh, I don't know how familiar how familiar you are with these wrecks, but these are everywhere. They're all over the earth, and the story is that they were built by the uh, Italians and French between I think about fifteen fifty and seventeen hundred. But they're everywhere. They're even in Australia, which wasn't you know found until seventeen eighty eight or so they say. Um, so these. Uh, basically, when you look at the shape of them, they're they're, they're cymatic um, geometric shapes. They're always these uh, have this geometry to them, and they always have water around them as well in these canals. And of course, water uh, carries current. Uh, so there's another one? one. Where? Yeah. This one, I'm actually not sure. I th- the ones that are remaining is, cities are usually in Germany or Denmark, Holland. Yeah, sort of Northern areas. Europe sort of area is, is where the best ones are. There's a few good ones in the USA. Uh, I think Fort McHenry and a few like that. Uh, but they're all, all the same. And, and they've always got this one's been uh, sort of built over in the middle because it's, it's always geometry in the middle as well. And, and they've normally got a citadel, which is either... Um, a square, a pentagram, a hexagon, or um, an octagon. Uh, but they're just all the same kind of thing. But all, you can see this one is, uh, what's that, octagon. So that, you know, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sided, yep, eight, eight pointed. And you can see this one's even got another eight pointed star underneath it that's been turned half a, half a turn. Can you see that? Yeah. And, and there we have in the middle uh, the square citadel. This one's actually, I think it's been turned into housing. But I'll sh- on, on uh, so this is just a map to show these, these have been around for uh, forever, basically. Uh, and they're all, this is how they're designed, just all on geometry. And I have to point out that the amount of terraforming to make these is absolutely insane and especially for the time frame that they claim that they were made like how in like god's earth where would you move all of that with a couple people and horses like it just it it's impossible because it's like you're literally moving mountains like Mm. literally moving mountains when making these it is and you can see you know just the height here how built up they are and now when we see them, they're, they're all on mounds. So we know there's a lot more under the ground. And they're full of old, you know, cathedrals. Here's a cathedral with the cross. 
um, and red brick buildings, which we see everywhere. Here's another one, five pointer. And as you can see, it's five point inside. So that they're all based on, you know, if it's a five point and then it'll be like, everything will be sort of five pointed and, and pentagons and things like that. Or if it's eight sided, it'll be octagons. Um, and they're not all, they have satellites. This is what we call like a satellite star. You can see this is even half a circle. So I'm not sure if that's got to do with magnetics, but they're all basically um, these, that there's just ge geometry. Uh, this is a citadel. So this is the, in, the inside of one of the star forts. And it looks, uh, there's another one. This is this one that someone's just built their house inside it. So uh, must be pretty good, you know, energy in there for the crops and the animals. There's another one. And I've got, so you can see they're just all. Right, and like that's insane amount of terraforming between the moats, the amount of land, the leveling that you have to do to be able to have those moats working. Like it's yep. not, it, there, there's no explanation or like, validity in the story that we are told yeah. on the creation of these exactly yeah this is all man-made yeah canals and things and you can see this is yeah four point and then they've gone to the four with the circles um and and we often see these these sort of arrows that are pointing in a certain direction and you can see it's got one up there another one there and then a bigger one there and, and you can see it's sort of bursting out this way you know, like, like the energy, it sort of looks like it's bursting that way. And, and you made a great point at the beginning that it's cymatic frequencies. Like there's literal cymatic mm. frequencies that match the exact patterns to the majority exactly. of these bigger ones. So yeah. it is energy. It, it's They're built in a higher dimensional energy pattern. Definitely. So, uh, and this one you might recognize. Pentagon. Yeah, exactly, right? 20th so that, anniversary. That's the um, that's that's a Star Fort Citadel. You in on that. So them claiming that they built that, it's like chances are it actually existed to some degree, like at least the terraforming around it before yeah, they got the or the center. Mm, yeah, I was looking at that too, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's interesting. So now here's another very um. I get mixed emotions about this. And I'm just going to say it real quick. Like America, I think if America falls as far as the, the constitution and what they uphold, it's, it's going to be really scary for the world. Yet at the same time, I look at some of the wars that America has already been through and most of them, we, we hadn't, in my opinion, we shouldn't have been there anyway. Right. So did they take this area of what was an, a sacred site of a star fort and um, build over it with this Pentagon. And yep. is it housing a entity? Yeah, uh, exactly. Or, and an energy <laughs> node too, right? Like it's in those ancient ley line alignments that it's one of those spots. Yep. And even if you look at this, uh, when you look at the aerial view of Washington, that's what it looks like. It's got a massive pyramid in there that goes out and you've got uh, the White House and the monument and things. Uh, so, and yeah, now, they basically take over these old sacred sites because they're built on energy points. And they, as we know, they invert everything. They change it around um, to try and change the energy, which is really changing the way that we perceive it. And so that changes the energy that we give to it. And that changes the energy, right? Um, you know, because we're the creators. Of course. Right. So and one thing I have to point out with that that's so crucial that like has always baffled my mind, for instance, is Isis. Isis was the most sacred name, like this worshipped holy goddess for tens of thousands of years. And then just like that, the flick of a second, all of humanity now turned that into fear and terrorism, the exact opposite energy and focus point sort of thing, right? Yeah. So that ties exactly into what you're saying, Campbell. Exactly. It's the whole thing. Um, you know, cathedrals used to be for healing, for healing with from within. And now it's all about, you know, outside worshipping, you know, false um, statues and all this kind of thing. Um, their education, they take over all, you know, all the schools and universities, they're all old world buildings. And so they, they 
change that into indoctrination instead of you know education you know what to think instead of how to think so it's the same story everywhere it's all inversion um now i'll just get on to the next file one tick i'll stop sharing that screen um minute. i've got some more pics here so yeah this one so we'll go into frequencies yeah i love isis queen of heaven yeah you ever queen wonder of if heaven, the queen of heaven yeah. to Literally. terrorists mm. they also, do it with everything you know you were talking about the freemasons and at the higher levels um there's a worship of lucifer uh which is venus which is connected to anana or ishtar eastern star so then you have to ask yourselves um the vatican had a huge uh, influence in the bible as we know it as most people know it and a lot of the terminology that was written in there like wh what do they have that they flipped around right was it spell casting mm -hmm. Yeah, spelling, <laughs> right? Yeah, spelling. Um, back in the 1300s, there was a thing called the Great Vowel Shift, where they literally took vowels out of the land, out of our um, you know, alphabet. And alphabet, of course, just means A B, right? Alpha and beta. Um, so they've literally changed the sounds that we make, which is frequency, right? Which is exactly what we're talking about. This is yeah. just a random pick of um, domes, because domes and you know um, ether energy. Um, and it's an example it, of antiquitech. Antiquitech, it, yeah. It looks so like you can see there's the dome with, <laughs> domes inside. This is like a bell free, they call them now. Um, and our theory is because they used to have bells, now they don't. And of course, bells give frequency. Um, and then they go down and we have all these. Um, let me get to the next one. So this, this is an oscillator. Uh, I believe they're called, and this is someone who plays music. He makes um, different dance music and stuff and plays it through this machine. And so this is literally um, looking at a frequency. Like this is an expression of a certain frequency. And of course, that's exactly what we see in stars. And even to the point, I mean, this is, it's a moving image, but you can see even to the point that it's, it's you know, like, like the fractal stacking where they have the, the same shape um, stacked on top of itself. And he gets, there's another one. And so this is, so this is why we're linking star forts with frequency. And this, we see this a lot, this kind of rounded shape. And so literally what star forts, this looks like the citadels, you know, the octagon or whatever. Um, what they look like is they're built on certain you know, energy nodal points, shall we say, um, which give out a natural frequency. And they're just matching the frequency. You know, they're just, they're just um, making the frequency in the 3D physical world, you know, and then which I guess magnifies um, the frequency up. Yeah, and it's energy harvesting, right? Mm. And that in the center of each one is like for the ones that are remaining, haven't been torn down, are these grand cathedrals. Yeah. And it's a cathode and anode. There's a dipole on the, and it, it, I don't know if you have the pictures to show in, we'll go into it on the atmospheric electricity that uh, in these ancient French and German science books showing the actual, that they were aware of and they were harvesting these uh, p energy potential differences in the top of the tower to the bottom. And that, those domes, they're actual resonator domes, they're actual capacitors, like this is physics, this is higher dimensional engineering I'm speaking in terms of, that it's made of silver, it's made of copper, it's made of these electrical, ele magnetic electrical materials and layered in actual ways that that is a design of an actual functioning energy capacitor and that they're placed and built, the buildings made out of, um, uh, 
like silica and other energy resonating materials and that they've now discovered that bricks are also can be turned into batteries so that these ancient architectures are actually higher dimensional technology energy harvesting buildings like it it's actually mind-blowing when you get the real science and understanding of what you're looking at mm. and you can just say in this one all the different you know, they're not just domes, they've got all these different workings inside them and, and those, even something that's called a drum, you know. Yeah, and it's, uh, those are uh, radio, gui radio guides and waveguide generators and stuff. The actual patterns that they are, you can take and map it and uh, with an identical like computer processor as well as like these chips and these different um, capacitors and it's the exact same material, the exact same designs and that it's from what you're using in your computer, the microchip, it's just the identical thing built on a macro scale. Mm, exactly, yeah. And this, of course, is um, inside a cathedral. And you can organ. see just these shapes, right? These are the shapes that, that, that we see. We just saw literally in those, you know, in these types of things, you know, with the rounded edges and that. And... So these are all um, also, I mean, they, these are, are newer ones. They're not the, the old traditional ones. Um, oh, there you go. And this is also linked to um, crop circles. Um, and Bernard mentioned before, and there's also video of these white orbs that spin around in fields and then disappear and, and they leave behind these crop circles. So is, is this literally... You know, are those orbs just energy that we're seeing? And this is literally the expression of energy coming up through the earth, and that's what it creates. Right? There's just so many fascinating possibilities. It truly is mind boggling. Mm, there's just so many connections, as you know, as far as shapes and fractals. I mean, look at these, these shapes here, right? You see these all over cathedrals. Exactly. Uh, right. right. Uh, I'm pulling up right now and I invited uh, Michelle Gibson. She was busy. So we'll do another one with Campbell, myself and Michelle Rex uh, in the future where we've been doing a joint project and I pull out the hydrogen wave function actual from the Sapphire project, like real high level cutting edge science. And you're matching identical um, patterns that are real frequencies that are full um, cymatic frequencies of the cephegios and stuff like that, that are then identical to the base formation of hydrogen, the atom that is the structure of everything. And that it's then the exact same thing that is in the windows of these cathedrals that are, uh, it's a, uh, the waveguide replicator or uh, magnifier. And that the key, the frequency, the cymatic frequency is the exact same as one of the tones on the organ. So it's that the organ music is the exact same frequency and shape as the hydrogen creation and that it all ties into one giant massive replicating technology structure that is way more advanced than we give it credit or even try to understand. Exactly. So these are musical notes expressed. I believe this is through water and they've um, photographed it. But but these this is literally looking at the musical notes. And of course, you know, same same design, same um, geometry. But th these literally look like the windows, right? The, the stained glass windows we see. Yeah. And yeah. see, that's C2, D2. So those are notes, actual notes that are keys on the organs within those cathedrals that are then the exact same 2D frequency that are the windows. Like it's the, the complexity and what that actually means is it's mind bending. Exactly. And there's even a lady who goes out and she records the silence in cathedrals. And she, she sits there, she records the silence, and then she um, does it again, but she plays back her recording of the silence while she's recording the second one. And she does that seven times, and she ends up with a frequency. Wow. She ends up, yeah, recording a frequency, and it's the frequency of the, of the cathedral. That's cool. Uh, here's a few more. 
So th this is literally frequency, sound, you know, the expression of sound. And also, if you've looked into Dr. Emoto's work, um, where he freezes ice crystals, very, very similar, but he's putting in thought energy. He's putting in intention rather than sound. Um, but it's all, it's all a frequency. It's just a different expression, right? One's sound, one's, you know, electric energy, whatever you want to call it, one's vibration. Um, of course, we see, you know, these, you know, massive <laughs> machines. Um, and, of course, you know, those who want to rule us, they go to these buildings first, right, and take them over um, because they're like they're Freemasonry. Um, now, this is uh, Fort Jefferson. This is in the Florida Keys. 200 miles off the coast and it's the largest red brick building in the united states of america and as like, you can see this is one of those frequencies and it's like how how like their story of we built this 200 years ago when there was no infrastructure it's literally 200 miles off the coast and the largest of, like how did you get the bricks there how did you build mm. out an island it, it just doesn't make sense yeah, some of the stories they say um, it was the boats dumping their, um, oh, what do they call it, where they carry bricks as weight? Um, I've forgotten now, but, <laughs> um, but, but I mean, come on. Um, but, but also this has got a, it's in the ocean and it's got um, like a, a moat built around it. And the other thing, and it's because there's lots of these are like this, just, just like islands or in the water, in the ocean. Now, they tell us it's a fort. Now, if you're trying to attack the United States in boats and you're coming up and you see a fort, what do you think you'd do? I mean, I know what I'd do. I'd just sail around it. Right. Uh, just you know? not come within firing range. <laughs> exactly. Just far enough so they can't actually hit you. So, so it doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, and this is, you know, another, this is obviously um, Indian. Uh, the music kind of, notes of the earth. Exactly. Yeah resonant exactly. frequencies and everything's expressed this is the same kind of geometry you know coming from the vedic cultures and, and indian kind of stuff here we go so these are some of the cathedral windows the original ones you know before now now a lot of them are replaced you know and they show the little pictures and stuff but this is what they were and this is literally an expression of a frequency so the organ in this cathedral would be tuned to these frequencies and, and it would also be tied into the bells because, of course, they all used to have bells. They got taken out in the Second World War pretty much. And it's not the best picture, but you can see up here, you know, all this stuff, which is what we call antiquity, all these little bits coming off it. They're all antennas and things and, and ways to draw um, ethereal energy, you know, free energy. Yeah, atmospheric, atmospheric, atmospheric energy atmospheric. out of the... Mm. And, and it's that... Uh, real science you can actually produce free electricity and this is part of what tesla was doing is the differential between the top of the spire to the ground actually creates an electrical differential that you then connect to another wire that goes into the ground you're grounding and that that this is your three phase electricity you put that into um as the the third phase in your circuit and then you have a bell ringing circuit um with uh the vacuum tubes the glass tubes like your fluorescent lighting and stuff and that actually produces plasma electricity out of the air you're like you're mm. it's real technology mm. these things actually function producing electricity it, it's crazy mm. and this window here um this is what's this bernie a uh, wave, a sound wave guide. And it, uh, it's, it's they built these computer chips, like literally and silicon. as well, this bit, isn't yeah. that cool? Yeah, it, like that's an actual radio guide um, or yeah, uh, antenna, sound wave antenna. That's what it is. And of course we've got all the geometry yeah, here yeah. again. And of course, you know, now we see all this stuff, but this is, you know, this is added all these, statues are added afterwards um as far as we can tell that you know it's a, that's it's the facading but all of this geometry that that's behind it and actually built into the building um is part of the structure and you can i mean look at the work that's gone into that and they tell us it's all just for the you know the worship and the glory of god well what's the glory of god right 
what were they worshipping? What, you know, we know, right, L, L, electricity, maybe. So let me just, um, I'll just stop sharing for a tick and bring up one more file. Okay, so these are called monstrances. Okay, and these we're told, uh, you know, they're religious, you know, artifacts or whatever, but, but this is a monstrance. And just to start with, look how, how similar that is to the top of a cathedral, you know, literally with the geometry and everything built in. And the zodiacal now, clock, the constellations. Down here. Star of David. Wow. Star of David. Yep. Everything. Which the Star of David represents so many more things than what, I mean, it's, it could be infinite possibilities, but the as above, so below, the feminine, the masculine, there's many yep. levels to that. The Merkaba. Like, it, yeah, it's exactly. also the shape of the structure of the universe. It, it's, the, it's the shape of the hydrogen atom and the functionality of the structure of physical matter. Ooh. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> His name's Bernie, the, the science guy. Thing you'll see everywhere is these balls. Filled uh, with mercury. Filled with mercury. We've actually um, had some, got some photos and, and where someone's cracked them and there was mercury in there. Now, with these monstrances, they all have this glass container. It's like, um, it's, yeah, it's just like a two bits of glass with a, a void in, and that's normally where they put you know, the sacrament, which is, you know, the body of Christ and all this kind of stuff. But if we've got pictures of older ones, here's the middle. I mean, look how intricate that thing is. Um, but the older ones, we've got pictures of them and they've got red stuff in here. Okay. Can you go back now, to that one before, please? Before that, the one right before that. Oh, before? <laughs> yeah, one more. That one. Yes. Let's look at this for a minute. Like, wow. I, the, that, to me, reminds me of a cell tower. It reminds me of a communications tower. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it, it looks like it has coils. Those look like coils. They, they are. They are. Like, that's why uh, it's called Antiquitech. Like, this is like... a. That is like a well-designed piece of ancient technology that we have just been lied to about its purpose. And we're just coming up to the same understanding of science to figure out that there's functionality to all of this. Now, where is this at, this one? Um, I'm not sure. Most of them, I mean, this, these old ones, they're mainly, you know, in like Vatican City and stuff locked away in museums, but they do use you know, the replica type ones um, to that. They still make them. But that, that's uh, but, a but good the older point. You, the older, you, the further you go back, the more intricate and the more like machines they start to look like. Yeah. And and this, but this, oh, it's sorry. the, the uh, World War II, the Nazis, they took yeah. a whole bunch of those. So yeah. back to our previous conversation there, Rex, where you're talking about the Nazis going for ancient technology. This is one of the things <laughs> that they actually like mm. went, went out of their way to get a bunch of and, and this missing is the ever scam since. they tell us it's all about the spear of destiny and these you know things that no one's ever seen or doesn't really know but they were just cleaning out the old tech and because none no you know i mean did you know that monstrances existed i mean i didn't before i found the topic so, so all this stuff that we didn't even know existed is what was stolen and and if you look at this as well it you know clearly looks like a cathedral and this is you know, like a handheld miniature version. So you can imagine if cathedrals were healing centers where people went to, you know, get their vibration right and to get healed, this could be a mini one. This could be, you know, the origin of priests going out and, and seeing people and having congregations. People who couldn't get into the cathedral, they just took one of these out and healed them with this. For all we know, right? Yeah, and all the synchronicities we're having right now. So I was just in the Grand Canyon with my friends Jared Murphy and Sean Dell. And Jared Murphy is a believer of a high-level civilization, not aliens, 
tens of thousands of years ago that were super advanced. And we were talking about like the relics that we see today, a lot of these antiques and um, these religious relics that are sacred, right? And it seems as if the majority of what we're looking at is a replica of something that was an actual technology that was more than a mental um, worship point. And you can do mind over matter quite a bit. The mind is extremely powerful. It's the most, but my point is that's a whole other podcast. These technologies were acting at a physical level also. They were physically interacting and like you're looking at the Jed tower here and the connections. Wow. Exactly. It was literally, it was the tech and that's why it was replicated because as it was lost after, you know, catastrophes and that some people had the knowledge of what, what they, what came, what they had before. And it was just replicated, you know, this is what it looked like and they became the symbols, but now we're told it's all, you know, spiritual and for God, right? But it was a lot more practical than we're told. Or it's aliens. <laughs> or aliens. And um, just on that point of the the monstrances, there's another one. Um, and and them having uh red, I've lost all my pictures now. Um, having red, oh, I'll have to go back. Um, like red liquid found in some of them in these centerpieces. Some of these they actually have like what look like a vacuum tube instead of a round piece. Now you know, what's the other thing that they do at church, right? They have the body of Christ, but they also have the blood of Christ, right? And we found the mercury in um, the balls. Now, have you heard of red mercury, Rex? Yeah. Yep. I haven't. No, so, no. no. Sorry, you haven't? No. No. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's, hey, man, I'm not a crazy nice alchemy guy. guy. I'm a crazy conspiracy <laughs> guy, all right? Fair, fair yeah, yeah. Enough. So red mercury is essentially plasma mercury, and that's where you get your anti-gravity stuff from. Uh, we'll bring I'll bring up some evidence with that tomorrow night uh, with yeah, alien scientists because he we go and he'll be able to lead into that a lot more on the anti-gravity technologies and stuff like that. So we'll cover it then. But it's yeah. So basically, it's plasma state mercury. So that's when you're going to be getting your effects of some sort of anti-gravity over unity electricity, um, possibilities of just higher energy technologies mm. when you're dealing yeah. with red mercury. It's and sort of half, half here and half in another realm to the point where it's called vampire blood because it doesn't reflect in a mirror. You can, you can put it in a glass vial and you hold the vial up to a mirror and the vial looks empty and it also <laughs> is repelled. And this is serious. And I'll, I'll actual get to, video I'll of this. the video. We've got footage. It's repelled by garlic and attracted to gold. Dude. Right. Wow. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, so just as a side topic, you know, just, you know, just a theory, you know, if, if the red stuff in here was, you know, what we're told and they're calling now the, the blood of Christ, Right. What what's the blood of Christ? I mean, blood, right? We have a, a what? A circulatory system. That's where our blood runs, right? It's a circuit. Right. So so now we're back to energy and electricity and circuits. So is that just, you know, it's like we said before, they change the symbols. If they just change, you know, oh, it's the body of Christ when it was actually technology that was doing something. You put the body of Christ in here and blah, you know, that's you get the really glory of point. God. You know, you get the glory of God, which we can see bursting out here. And that would explain, like, if someone found it, one that's still from, like, the previous civilization that still had active plasma mercury in it, it would probably activate that would, device. Would work. And mm. then that explains, oh, it's through God. It's the blood yeah, of Christ. Exactly. Good You're point. Right? So just random ones that were found that were still activated, someone finds them and it's like, oh, it's a... It's a miracle. It's a we found yeah, the blood miracle. of Christ. It's activated, yeah. you know, like look at look at the energy coming out of it. It's Jesus. Hallelujah. Right. Like exactly. that makes perfect sense. And this is just to show you all the, you know, the Egyptian glyphs and that, that we say, you know, they're all based on geometry and all based on tech. You yeah. know, it's blueprints. They're blueprints to a advanced lost technology. And 
Uh, there's a, another channel, um, obviously don't have time to go in it tonight, but that literally deciphers the ancient Egyptian glyphs into um, the understanding of magnetics and electromagnetics and that that's uh, talking in uh, magnetic field force interactions. And that's what the language actually is uh, speaking. Mm. And even things like this, basically the wings uh, seem to represent electricity and, and and you can see this is almost like a spark gap and we've got the two towers you know with these on them um you know so is this just a representation again of some device that was creating energy we've got the mercury balls here you know and everything's just been changed right it's just all allegory right it's all and look at this you know this is <laughs> these used like, to be yeah. on the top of all the power pole poles right when we were kids right? this, exactly so. like and, and all it is is they just represent um things differently because they, they were using a language where you, um you know you could come from any country but you could see the symbols it's like we're getting back to it today right it's like if you see a square a blue square with a white f in it Right, that yeah, means right, something Facebook. right yeah yeah and exactly. it doesn't just mean facebook to someone it means facebook to someone it means you know that's where my group on my page is to someone it means that's where i share info to someone it means something else that's where i play games yeah so same with these hieroglyphs yeah. right depending on how you know to read them that might mean uh um place to heal or and to someone else it, it might be the designs of how to build that how it actually works exactly the, I, it's totally the instructions like that's an instruction manual on how this technology works like it guaranteed hmm. he's even having a toast oh, there's another one uh the ank of course um definitely in there uh there's another monstrance i mean so that's just you can imagine, you know, red mercury, the blood body or the blood of Christ, if they want to call it that. And then these are all antennas drawing energy down you know, into this central part, you know, to activate it and then the glory of God, you know, who knows? Right. And, and of course, they hide all this, you know, they, they, they don't want us to know that we used to have free energy and free, you know, frequency healing and all this stuff because... As you know, they like their power. And to them, you know, a good way for power is money. So then they change, you know, these natural healing centers that run off, you know, the ether and natural energy. They change them to Rockefeller medicine, right? And, and hence, you know, look around today. And, and then they tell us, oh, no, you know, there was never free energy. You've got to pay us for it, you know? So that they go around and they smash it all. They take all the bells out. They steal all the antiquitech. So we don't know that it even existed. So we can't even... You know, we're not even, even complaining, give it back because we don't even know that we lost it. You know, and, and this is, you know, an old, an old motor. This yeah. is just a simple old magnetic motor. And, and they're everywhere. And it, it's like the book burnings were to erase the advanced technology that there was. Like, we, do you have any of the pictures of um, those French or German atmospheric electricity diagrams handy? Or we'll have to do that on another I uh, don't think so. Day. Yeah, we'll do that on another podcast. But it, it's like chapters of electricity in old German and old French. So clearly, that's probably what World War I and World War II were, were wiping out the leftover advanced civilization of Tartaria and their Antiquitech and all of that before. And then the book burnings and whatnot. No, that wasn't to destroy an idol or a belief. That was to destroy the knowledge of advanced technology. And yeah. as well, you have the well uh, the, europe was in the dark ages yeah the rest of the world especially the muslim world was in their golden age that yeah they, they had free energy free light like everything like they were powered places and why is it called the dark ages right they, they, they took, took the, the free electric energy away, away from us. no more so light. How, how long ago are you saying you believe there was free energy uh, golden age for the muslim uh, 
faith. Probably about 500 years at, at least. And it's that chances are the time of like the Greeks and stuff like 2000 years ago was when it would have been like a global sort of thing. And then something happened. There was some sort of reset. And then there was another reset, like a smaller reset around the eight or 16 or 17, maybe even 1500s when Columbus, the whole Columbus story happened sometime yeah, around that, yeah. then was the fall of the last one. And about it's 1300. Very yeah. yeah. But, but there's also massive problems with the timeline. So yeah, that's a whole exactly. nother, a whole nother story. Um, but, but not, not, not as far back as we're talking, not thousands of years, you know, within a thousand years and then um, yeah, something natural happened. And then, basically while the world was you know recovering and all smashed up you know that the infiltrators came in and you know the whispers as i like to call them and, and they just basically yeah started turning people against each other you know destroying all the info or keeping it for themselves um and and here we are and rex you know, and i know is... how you're feeling right now because i went through that <laughs> exact same like rejection when this information <laughs> was first put to me it's like what no like it's just Dude, this, impossible no time out time, out time out time out no i'm not thinking that at all like this i've heard so much before this is really nothing that's like making me go am i where i think i am am i in the matrix <laughs> it's fast okay, well that, that was my personal experience yeah. the first time i was exposed to it, i was like this is freaking impossible like <laughs> but it's like the more i got into it, the more of research every day it's like we're it is so hidden in plain sight it is ridiculous and Just it was not that long free. ago mm. like the robber barons that came over they were robbing and they were barons that raped and pillaged and destroyed took over whatever civilization was here not that long ago and that's why there mm. are these pyramids all throughout north america these leftover cities and stuff like that and that they just it was already there and there's a lot of evidence too like the train tracks across north america but also across siberia the oldest pictures it looks like they're being dug out they're not mm. that they're being built but like it looks like they're being dug out mm. there's and you look at the time frames and the technology and how much and how fast they were building all these old buildings. And, and the story for many of them, massive, like huge buildings. And if you're talking world fairs, like things that cover, you know, acres for one building, and they tell us it was built in a year or two, you know, back in the 1800s when there was no tech, no roads, horse and cart. So it's just, it's just a big yeah, Thing. And they built the, they built the, them the for two years right? only to destroy them, right? Like there's so yeah, many then, 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 churches. Then, then, or they these, knock them over. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's crazy. Like it, the more it's you mad. look into it, it there's some like some sort of absolute massive cover up that like mm -hmm. it's mind blowing. It's, and and it's just insane. think, you know, we, we've all seen these old buildings and how superior they are to these, you know, square, you know, bits of crap that they build today. And in every city. They've gone in and they've destroyed these old buildings and replaced them with these crappy square things that you need to heat and cool and they're not good for you. And, you know, why would they do that? Uh, uh, but yeah, holy hand grenade, right? Um, what if this is a mercury ball and this is an antenna? Could be like a Wi-Fi device, right? Exactly. But, but we just hold, no, no, it's not, it's not. It's not a Wi-Fi device. It's a, it's a, what is it? A Mercus Globus? Is that right? Uh, something Globus. Um, Worshipping false know, I mean, idols. I, it takes a whole new meaning. Mm. And, and you can see, like, good point, good time to say that, because you can see this is an old, an old structure, but all these idols have been added. You know, this is all, all the stamp of, of whatever you want to call them, right? You know, the Phoenicians, the, the, whatever you know whatever name you want to put on them they put a facade on everything they they come and they 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 find their free masonry right and they don't you know cities aren't founded they're found and yeah. and, and, and they it's just the rebrand date, them. it's the date of the facade right mm. the new numbers and why is it called a facade that is put on the outside that is the date they built the facade on the all of the big like uh world's fair style buildings and whatnot that have that 1800 over here the the word what does facade mean it's got two meanings and it's like that's the date the facade was put on that building not the date that it was actually built from the ground up hmm. 
Exactly. And, and we've, we've found that you go to any of these buildings, and we haven't done all of them, but, you know, ones where you find, you know, bits of the facade, you know, knocked off the corner, they're all red brick underneath, all of them, all these buildings. And, and as Bernie said, um, they've now come out saying that red bricks you can use as batteries and specifically red bricks. And it's got to do with the iron content in them. I mean, look at this, right? They tell us that's a pagoda. What do you think that is? It looks like an electrical capacitor to me. Or something that was attempting to mimic an electrical capacitor. I can't really see the details. Mm, could be, could be either. Um, it's, it's not the best contrast, but, but all these, they're just so covered in all this intricate, you know, facading or artwork. But, but when you look at it, you know, break them down, they, they all, they just look like little mini antennas and things like that. Whoops. What was that one? Just and all they, these in. It, and they're made of copper on like the domes and the sides of them. And then the actual structures, a lot of these ancient brick buildings, and they claim that uh, the, uh, found to where the steel the iron going through it like that's a new thing that yet the oldest brick buildings going up to the actual domes that are made of metals you have these iron connectors mm -hmm. that it, it's actual the electrical wiring of these buildings and these technologies mm -hmm. and it's, it's like the strapping way. you can still see it on the outside of some buildings they, they sort of metal strap things that go down you know but again you know just technology we've just been and this this is why they have the gatekeepers right while well, they have um archaeologists and things you know because you know we more you know we silly humans we're not allowed to look into the past you know we're not allowed to go and look at these sites they're all off limits only only archaeologists can go but then only the ones that believe the narrative if you go and you discover something and, and say oh you guys are all wrong you'll lose your job and you'll never work again you know so it's gatekeeping all these, you know, all these, you know, people with letters behind their names. And of course, it's become so blatantly obvious in the last year or so. They're all gatekeepers for information. You know, the medical establishment are gatekeepers against frequency healing and, and herbalism and things like that. And, and religion is gatekeeper against free energy, it looks like. <laughs> spiritual energy too right? spiritual yeah right l l electricity god interesting um that's just an old towel for some zoom reason in on that one in zoom in on that one will you yeah and it's that you'll see a <laughs> lot of these um uh eiffel tower like buildings in the oldest of pictures and they're everywhere and they claim that oh the eiffel tower was just one and then that there's like these intricate crazy um blueprints of other ones that like they must have been built and there's like ones that look like they're pictures of them and they claim that they're not actual pictures but it's like no that was part of what the old world technology and the old electrical harvesting of atmospheric electricity and it's it ties identically down to the same way of nikola tesla's warden cliff tower and yep. rex i'll get you these pictures of the french and german science of harvesting electrical energy out of the atmosphere and it's like they fully understood it and we just are only beginning to get it so it was wiped out that understanding must have been wiped out sometime between the 50 and 1600s when those books were written and then nikola tesla again at the turn of the century with his warden cliff tower mm. So there you go. So that's the last pick there. I've got a couple more if you want to look at them or how are we going? Man, sure, this is fascinating. Actually, I, I must say this is above and beyond my expectations. This is super cool. And I'm just going to take it with, um, with an open mind, yet still exactly. be questioning everything. And, a lot of, and some of these photos do look like, a, do have that resemblance of a possible technological device um but i could also say just as much that it was just a how do i put it 
It was a copy of a copy of yeah, a copy. Representation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. But and that's a good point too. That it's like maybe there wasn't functioning copies or functioning understanding of it since the last reset. But it's definitely evidence that at some point in the past there was a higher global civilization and technology, right? So oh, yeah. who knows? Who knows how much was passed on? How much was used actively? And I also want to say that absolutely. And I also want to say that the this also makes much sense when you ask the question of why is the majority of music in 440 hertz versus 432? And the, the cathedrals in these religious and spiritual locations are often tuned to 432 hertz. And if everything is frequency at a specific level, if you can manipulate that frequency, then you can manipulate the root of the situation so to take it from 432 versus 440, from harmony to disharmony, and you can clearly tell the difference. You just put a guitar next to your chest and, and pull the strings at 432 versus 440, and it is an absolute physical difference. So it used to be the musicians, uh, you know, there, you remember back in the day, well, this is probably a little bit before your time, getting a CD. You go out and buy a CD. <laughs> oh, man, this is my band. I got a CD now or... And you have the Walkman and all that kind of stuff. And they had so much influence on our minds because we didn't have the internet to get into. We yeah. didn't have a thousand channels and, and all this information. And now it's not, I mean, there's a few musicians out there that are extremely successful and have that global influence, but not like it used to be. And so you've got uh, five corporations that control almost all the media. And by doing so, they control the narrative in the, in the minds of the people. And once again, if you are embedded on the television set, it's going to have a hypnotic effect and, and you're going to miss out on a lot of brilliant questions. You're not going to ask the right questions because you're going to be stuck in that trap. So I guess in, in finishing this, question everything, folks. Question everything and, and ask yourselves this question. If there's five or six corporations that control almost everything and there's just a few corporations behind those corporations that are funding you know, like these giant banking institutions, why would they push something on the news that they wouldn't want you to see? If they don't want you to see it, why is it going to be on the news? They control it. Exactly. So exactly. even when, oh, dude, did you, you know, man, they're, they're really messing up out there in Afghanistan. They want you to know that. Then they can, then they can throw you back and forth. It's like they, they have both sides. So they're pissing off anybody that watches the news, whether you're a, a Republican or a Democrat or either, you're going to get pissed off. Mm -hmm. It's just, exactly. it makes no sense, but you just keep watching it and you keep thinking, oh, I'm going to get the news. I'm going to get information that's valuable and important. And, and most of the conspiracy channels out there, they get information from these five corporations that get most of their information from one source. Yeah. Yep. Think about that. So one thing to add into what you're saying there, like Marilyn Manson, for instance, stop making CDs and music, but where, what, what has he been doing? Oh, he's been making the soundtracks for movies. Why? Because he's paid way more and he's way more influential in creating, because he's an intense sound engineer of making those sounds that do the uh, subliminal messaging, that do the uh, emotional fear state. And that's actual documented proof and evidence. And like, he takes credit for it. Like, there's a video out there of him bragging about it, but it's like, they're doing this evil influencing on it. And and like my girlfriend Amber, who said hi hello to both of you lovely people, by the way, but I will not sleep next to her after she watches a horror movie because that night I'm getting beat up. She's shrieking, she's screaming, she's kicking, she's punching, she's scratching. She's living a trauma that that movie has instilled on her. And they're doing it through these frequencies that are this, the, it's a higher dimensional science. It goes into the metaphysics. It goes into like we whatever societies used to understand it some maybe still do in the most esoteric um secret societies and whatnot and teachings around the world but it's being that it, it got classified as a military technology in the 50s and it's been being used against mm. us ever since yeah well we've got those photos from back in world war one and and it's of these their weapons but they look like big tubers they look like yeah. big tubers and so they pump out sound and it's and it's a weapon and there's heaps of them and they were using it in world war one so there's so much out there that we're just 
you know, we just get such so much taken away and hidden from us. And then whatever's left, we just get a watered down version so that we can't understand it properly so that we don't ask questions. You know, they don't want us obviously asking questions. That That's what this is all about. And it's about, you know, this all goes obviously further as far as, you know, low energies, you know, obviously loose energy, and that's what they feed on. And they want to keep people down there. It's controllable, but also with all the confusion, they want to, you know, fracture people's mental state, keep them confused so they can get in. You know, when you're focused and you know who you are, you, you're, you've, you know, you're standing, you know, guard at the gates of your mind. When you're like, oh, what the hell's going on? They can just jump in. And, and like you said, Rex, yeah. they do that through the telly, right? Yeah, all it's the ads the and all the news. Lower, and... lower state of, uh, vi lower vibrational state, right? When you're down in that fear or in that anger, you're emotionally impulsive, but you're not consciously thinking. When you're on that higher vibration, that higher conscious dimension, you're connecting up to your spiritual self, to the uh, Akashic record, to like throughout the Christ consciousness, it's called as well. That's being on the higher vibration. And that's through love, light, happiness. And then when you're in that fear, in that sadness, that sorrow, you're on a low vibrational wave. And there, it, there's actual science that shows the different ways wavelengths of emotion and that the uh the the higher vibrational thought waves are interacting with more spots on your dna and the lower emotional only hit it a couple of times so that if you're in fear if you're in anger if you're in sorrow and sadness you're not going to be yourself you're giving away your free will essentially and you're easily heard mentality uh moved and manipulated basically and on that note, folks, <laughs> be excellent to each other. Yes, exactly. Honesty and stay awesome. I stole both stay of awesome. your lines. I stole it. Ah. <laughs> They're free, man. You can't steal it. It's yours. Um, <laughs> Everyone's awesome. Campbell, real quick, your website, your YouTube channel, and Bernie, YouTube brother. And oh, also, uh, an honorable mention to Shondell. Thank you, Shondell, for listening uh, as well and being in the live chat. And thank you for that epic adventure in the Grand Canyon. Had a blast. Looking forward to the, the next adventure. And uh, Shondell is one of two people that I've told about this experience that I had in the, like right after like, we left the Grand Canyon and it was in Page. And I'm, I'm starting to get it like all excited just thinking about it man but anyway so thank you shondell for for being there man um dude wow so cool and uh anything else you guys want to share before we finish up this podcast man, man, man. um no i mean just just have a think about the fact that we've got this system out there that's clearly been broken you know was it set up you know just to, to keep us all in harmony maybe to, to keep away bad mm -hmm. energies it's been you know taken down at some point and and you know here we find ourselves so it's all about us you know, focusing on what we want, building that energy back up, high vibrations and, and rising above it, right? And and together we can build something much better than what we've got now, for sure. Absolutely. Right so oh, Rex, it, I will see yeah. you tomorrow night uh, back here with uh, Jeremy, the alien scientist at 8, I believe we're booked in, yes? So 8 p.m. Uh, mountain time. Sorry, 8 p.m. mountain, mountain time. Yes. So it's 10 p.m. Eastern, which is his time. That's where I got that 10 p.m. thing from. Hey, if you're a few, that. you know, like I said, a few minutes late, I usually am, you know, because if you're always on time, that's archons know what you're doing. But if you're abstract <laughs> and they just can't, you know, they're trying to get their little parasitic things on you, like pew, they miss, pew, pew, pew. you just gotta, you gotta figure it out. Uh, and I would like to say one thing. Um, I, I find it, beautiful and um such a synchronicity that you brought up isis and uh because that's a yeah. goddess that's not horror you, or terror you don't say right. you don't say be the change you want to see everybody Much stay awesome respect.